Wow, I, it's, I'm amazed at how many of you stay for the Sunday program as well. Thank you so much. Um, Roger would have been pleased to see all of you here. And you know, in putting the film festival together this year, Roger actually did do a lot of the work, but you know that it wouldn't go forward without Mary Susan and Nate Cohen. <laughs> And also, we uh, have sponsors that we usually have a, a little bit on the screen. We didn't do that this year, so I just want to tell you um, who helped also make the festival possible. The Champaign County Anti-Stigma Alliance, I think we had both Peter Tracy and Dr. Dolores Henry. Um, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, the people who produce the Academy Awards. We have Mary Frances Fagan and American Airlines and American Eagle. <laughs> Betsy Hendrick of Hendrick House, who's also a fan. Yeah. <laughs> Laurel Leon and Steve Bellamy of Leon Advertising, and they do the Ebert, they do EbertFest.com. So you go to EbertFest.com and see how awesome that is. And these, and these are becoming some of my favorite go-to guys, Brett Hayes and Luke Boyce of Shatterglass Studios. We had um, Lauren and Annie Murray of LA Gourmet Catering. <laughs> the Il Illini Radio Group and John Foreman and the News Gazette. <laughs> and for the Vir beautiful Virginia Theater and the hospitality, Stephen Bentz of the Champaign Park District and his staff. all of the volunteers who have been so great year after year. Some have been here for so many years. Thank you. And we wouldn't have been able to have such great projections without our own 007 James Bond. And do we have the people down there? We have uh, one of our sponsors actually sent some gift bags, but there are about 20. Last year, we figured out how to give, you know, what was one of Roger's favorite things? Steak and shake. <laughs> and they have been so wonderful to us as well. Um, and we, they actually sent over some gift bags. We have 20, where are they? Oh, they're here. Okay. And we were trying to figure out how do you decide, because some of you on the way home, there are some gift cards and things you may want to stop. Um, but we said, how do you do that? 20 gift bags. And we said, some people have been coming for, have been here for all 15 years. How many hands have been here for 15 years? Can you, can you find the 15 year people and hand out? No, you know what, stand please. If you've been here 15 for all the film festivals, please stand. for being a friend. <laughs> Let's get some clapping going. Party. Everyone. 
and we knew. Thank you for being a friend. Are you? Are they? I think we have some people in the balcony that we have to save. And if you give the party. We have one in the balcony. Yeah, oh, okay. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for that music. you did that music. Thank you. Thank you for being a friend because it'll make it easier for me to say what I wanted to say and thanking you for coming to the festival. Um, I've been trying not to make any speeches that it would send me just dissolving into tears and I've been holding it together and I'm going to continue to do it today. But I want you to know how much it meant to all of us that you came because when on April 4th, when word went out that Roger passed, um, you know, some people understandably asked if we would have the festival, if it would still go forward. And Nate let everyone know, yes, it will. And people started contacting us saying, thank you, we really want to be there, and, um, and we will be there and show our support and that the festival means a lot to them and that Roger meant a lot to them. And um, the one thing that I learned the other day, I guess that was yesterday, I wish that I could write a new chapter on grief and have this rule that when you lose someone after the first few days after you get through the funeral and the memorial tributes and you know sitting shiva or whatever your faith mandates that you do after that you should dance every single day you should get people and just dance and dance the grief away, dance it into the universe. Because movement is good and having people around you, that's good and having people who care, that's good. And it meant so much to me. I have my family back there. Thank you for coming, all of them came this year. And Roger's cousins, Tim Gaines and Carol Ann Gaines came and he had relatives from Colorado. His, uh, his cousin, Tom Stoom and his wife, Gloria. Gloria was in the hospital uh, out recently and his cousin, Kathy Stoom and his cousins and, and 
good, good friends, the Wyckoffs, people he grew up with in Urbana, and so many people, so many people came, and we are happy that you did. And so, um, that's as far as I'm gonna go. <laughs> All right, because that's as far as I can hold it together. So, thank you. We have, we have a lovely tribute that the far-flung correspondence put together. Uh, it was put together by Kevin Lee and uh, at, last year's festival. at last year's festival. Okay. <laughs> we want to, before we show it to you, we want to briefly introduce Kevin Lee who does beautiful video essays um, he's done essays for Ebert Presents, he does essays for Fandor.com and for uh, Press Play and uh, a, number of, a number of places. But Kevin Lee, will you please join us on stage? Please. So sure. Hi, everybody. So I'm, I'm, I'm really thrilled that uh, we're playing this tonight or today uh, because this is the result of a secret operation that occurred at last year's Ebert Fest, where uh, I, I actually didn't get to watch any of the movies at Ebert Fest last year because I was running around with a camera and recorder, hunting down all the far-flung correspondence, the um, demanders, all the contributors to Roger Ebert's website, Christy Lemire and Ignati Vishnevetsky, got them on there too. You're about to hear um, them reading Roger's words um, about some of his favorite films. Um, you may be aware of the Sight and Sound film poll, which is a prestigious film poll that's done every 10 years. Of the, they, they ask the best critics in the world to pick their 10 best films. So Roger's been doing this since 1972, and last year was his, his final list. And um, it's especially meaningful to me because that list that he wrote back in 82 when I was a teenager was my introduction to some of the greatest films of all time. And um, what I didn't realize though is, although I was looking for what to watch, what were the best films to look at, what I ended up learning was how to look at them. And that's what Roger taught a lot of us. It's not just what movies to watch, but how to watch them. So um, I'm really, really excited to share this with all of you. Thank you. We'll do this short, and then we will come back to do our feature film. And I'll introduce the uh, director and executive producer of the feature film after this short. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 